Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am Desmond, and we are from Group C, and we are here to uh, present implementation of Wealth with Green into Kohu Road through learnings from uh, our two exemplary companies, which are Interface Flow and uh, Ben and Jerry's. Uh, let me introduce you to our group members. This is Apoorv. He will be talking later about the back, uh, uh, background of our three companies. Uh, this is Yulia. Uh, she will talk about the lessons learned uh, from the two exemplary companies and the current practices that uh, Kohu Road is following. Uh, uh, she is Jane. Uh, she will talk about later the recommendations that uh, we can uh, implement into Kohu Road. Uh, what is sustainability? Sustainability is a careful and efficient control of resources by businesses, communities and citizens. Uh, it is a practice of meeting our needs in ways that are respectful of future generations and uh, helpful of natural, cultural, and financial assets. Uh, the aim of the presentation is focused to improve sustainability and productivity of Kohu Road. Uh, recommendations are identified and inspired by sustainability practices of the two exemplary companies. Uh, I now invite Apoor to talk about the background of the three companies that we'll be looking at. Hi guys, so to begin with, I'll be talking about Kohu Road. So Kohu Road is a boutique ice cream company. After traveling, uh, IT specialist Greg Hall and his wife returned to New Zealand from Japan uh, permanently in 2007 and decided to embark on their journey to make top quality homemade ice cream business. So ice cream is handcrafted uh, using real food ingredients, free from chemical ingredients, uh, emulsifiers, preservatives, and stabilizers. Moving on to Ben and Jerry, uh, in summers of 1978, two friends, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, opened a makeshift ice cream cream parlor uh, in an abundant gas station in North Northern uh, Vermont, United States. Using a single five-gallon uh, ice cream maker, they made batch after batch of creative flavors, like their famous. Chunky Monkey and Health Bar Crunch. In decades uh, that followed, Cohen and Greenfield built Ben & Jerry into a legendary international ice cream company, which is today. Currently, Ben & Jerry uh, operates as a subsidiary of Unilever Company, manufacturing ice creams, yogurts, and sorbets. So moving on to Interface, which we all are aware of. Uh, Interface was founded by Ray Anderson in 1973 a joint venture producing soft surface floor coverings. Interflo interface floor went public in 1983 after its sales had reached a peak of 11 million. Presently, they are spread across America, Middle East, Australia, Europe, covering most of the parts. Interface today is one of the oldest and best carpet company manufacturer in the world. So I'll hand over to Yulia for the lessons. Thank you. I'm going to talk about lessons from Interface Flow and Mission Zero. As we all know, and at least most of us know, that Mission Zero begins with a promise to eliminate any negative impact Interface has on the environment by 2020. Why? Because Interface wants to be the market leader in sustainability by reducing greenhouse gas emissions plus water and waste reduction. Interface has seen a lot of ac accomplishments, particularly within the environmental region, where the objective is to improve things and to ensure the general surroundings is protected. Among Interface's ac accomplishments, uh, we can name that they managed to decrease emissions of harmful, harmful gases by 73% since 1996. They also managed to decrease wastage by 91% since 1996. And they also decreased energy used per unit of production by 41% since 1996. Um, and I will continue with lessons from Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry's ensure that they follow sustainable practices, pra practices by operating on a three-part mission which consists of product, economic and social missions ever since 1988. Uh, they are committed to minimum 
environmental damage through the annual social and environmental report. They maintain and outline its performance in terms of environmental concerns. The major sustainability goals of Ben & Jerry are the carry Caring Dairy Program, which, is sets, uh, which sets global standards with sustainable dairy products as they work closely with dairy farmers. It offers their farmers to understand and evaluate and improve the sustainability of their dairy operations. Also, nowadays uh, the company is 100% fair trade. They are on a journey, they, they are 100% fair trade, and this fair trade movement means that uh, small trade farms uh, can compete in the global economy while agreeing the usage of safe environmental practices. Uh, the, the last but not, not the least is the life cycle analysis uh, implemented by Ben and & Jerry's and it, show, it showed that 41% of Ben & Jerry, ben and Jerry's total carbon footprint is, a, is back to the cows and that created the common ingredient for Ben & Jerry's ice cream cream. Now that they have a number that, that they can set targets and work towards reducing this greenhouse gas emissions with creative solutions. And I'm going to talk about Coho Road's current practices. Uh, as it was already mentioned that uh, Coho Road uh, cream are free from chemical flavors, emulsifiers, preservatives and stabilizers. That's why um, they don't export as far as Australia right now. Their philosophy is connection to nature, keeping food and ingredients as natural as possible. In terms of sustainability, uh, they try they're committed to the rule of the three R's, reuse, reduce and recycle. Reuse means that they reuse the cardboard boxes, they send their products out in their furniture, desk, shelving and uh, tables are all re reused from other people or offices. For ice cream service on the premises they use the stainless steel containers which can be reused. As for reduce, uh, they give unsellable stock to hospices the city mission or other groups. They share their forklift with neighboring offices, businesses, and they decide, decided not to build uh, the office, so they, the, their desk are in the corner of their warehouse. They use their own cars uh, to carpool or run or cycle to work, so there is no need for a fleet of a company's cars. As for recycle, uh, they recycle everything possible, including their paper, cardboard, PLA and other plastics. They, on, they use only rechargeable batteries and their food waste is turned uh, into compost and their power is from a renewable supply. Now I'm going to invite Jane to talk about recommendations. Um, so the recommendations. Um, Group C have identified three main recommendations for Kohi Road. Our first one um, we recommend is that Kohi Road initiate a similar program like Mission Zero to assess and monitor their um, environmental impacts and improve on their sustainability, um, sustainability practices. And as an introduction to this process, um, the company would benefit from joining EnviroStep, which is a New Zealand initiative that is designed to help New Zealand businesses um, improve and communicate their um, environmental performance and assess the performance of their suppliers. Currently, um, Kohu Road um, have limited information on their sustainable um, practices, so um, that's why we recommend that. Um, number two, we also recommend they introduce a life cycle analysis. Um, within the analysis, uh, Kohu Road should look at the following, their ingredients. Analysis of all the ingredients used in each of their ice cream flavours. Um, Yuli had mentioned that they're chemical free and um, minus the um, emulsifiers. Um, however, we know also, or what we found from information, is that the milk is sourced from the Green Valley, um, an independent milk company located on Marfona Farms and Mangatafiti, which is south of Auckland. Um, their vanilla beans are now sourced from Heilala, um, Vanilla Bean Company, which is based and uh, located in Tonga. Previous to that, they were sourcing their vanilla, uh, vanilla from um, a French uh, company in France. Uh, their packaging, uh, the Kohi Road are currently using plant-based uh, packaging, which is sourced from the Good Packing Company in New Zealand. Um, but they need to, or they could identify what emissions are associated with uh, the packaging um, in terms of their production. 
uh, what emissions are associated with the productions of the ice cream in the factory. So Yule mentioned that uh, Kohu Road uh, share a factory or their factories within a cafe um, space as well. So within that cafe space there is one um, temperature that is put out into the building, which I'm unsure of. Um, however, the hand-churned ice cream is made in a small part of the factory away from the operation of the cafe, where um, up to six employees at any one time um, hand-churn the ice cream quickly. Then it's put into the um, freezer to be or the freezing machine to freeze a blast. Um, and from that, they had like, about 20 minutes, it takes about 20 minutes to remove all of this and quickly package it up, hand package it into their um, one litre or two litre packaging and then they place it into a trolley and well it's away, about four metres away to the freezer. So based on this, in summertime, um, the room temperature within the factory can be anywhere between 19 and 24 degrees and in winter um, the temperature, air room temperature can be anywhere between 18 and 22 degrees. Um, the ideal um, optimised temperature for free um, for ice cream to be frozen and kept well under the New Zealand um, standards should be at minus 18 degrees to uh, minus zero. Um, so that's something to look at. Wastage um, in the warehouse kitchen, which is also within the same warehouse um, area, the, um, the utensils and machinery that are used to hand churn the ice cream um, require daily cleaning um, and also the drains and the grease traps that catch all the um, leftover runoff from the churning um, needs to be emptied every few months. Um, is the correct maintenance being upheld and are the appropriate cleaning products being used um, to clean the utensils? Um, the outward bound transportation, Kohu Road uh, currently own two trucks um, that they deliver their ice creams to, um, to the Auckland locations, but it's unsure of how um, they could identify their other transportation requirements um, to help aid their supply chain. And lastly, we recommend Kohu Road investigate and measure the standards within their dietary um, supplier or the dairy supplier and involve their suppliers within their sustainable goals. Um, so thank you very much for listening to us. We welcome your feedback and questions. To Kohu Road, that thing, the, carry, the caring, daring program of Ben and Jerry to your Kohu Road. The lessons, like. Actually, uh, we, didn't, we didn't mention that we are going to implement this program. That's just a lesson. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. it, it means that uh, it's the global standards with sustainable dairy products as the as the uh, the and Jerry's worked close with dairy farmers. Uh, but Perhaps you could explain a little bit more about what the Caring Dairy Program is, a, is it about. Is it, it's about looking after the animals on the, on the farm and keeping them warm or cold or giving them trees to sit under or I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure of that information right now, but we'll be able to work Yeah, okay, so deal with that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Um, just as an aside, that there are issues to do with organic dairy dairy farming. Um, just, just there are some there are advantages, obviously, with organic, but there are some deficiencies in terms of, of of the uh, condition of the cows that are that happen under organic dairy farming practice. So that's just a clue. Yeah. Got a question? Uh, oh, I'm going to have a question. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't mind. laughs> um, congratulations on the on the on the detailed company knowledge that you have of your of your target company and and the other companies. Um, how, how did you find out so much about your target company? Um, so in Kohu Road, um, I, a former student here at Unitech, um, was the marketing um, yeah, advisor for um, Kohu Road. Um, 
and um, so I guess I already knew I was familiar with this and based on the information that I had scoured ruthlessly for through the um, and, yeah, internet. Um, so in terms of their um, packages and their plastic waste, so that's me looking through that. But in terms of their um, how they operate and the fact that I've visited the site, um, I've walked pretty much as much as I could, plus spoken to other um, bloggers that I know that have been in there when it first opened um, and what was their feedback when they were invited to XYZ um, food exhibitions and being able to test their ice cream and what's behind the scenes and so I was sort of passing the information through that. Oh, well done. Good. Beyond the call of duty. Right. Other questions? Okay. Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, we are out of time, so... Right. <laughs> okay. Any questions from anybody else? That's your answer. Scratching your nose. Right. Okay. Thanks, uh, thanks very much for your question handling. Yeah, good start. Very well introduced. Uh, I mean, the, the background of the company and a good presentation. Uh, yes, yeah, good presentation. Um, a good structure of the PBT. Yeah, it's nice. Well done. Uh, yeah. So uh, for the improvements, you uh, wrote down very specific numbers. That's that's very good. Uh, and I like the way all of you spoke. Uh, though uh, it felt like a bit of a reading, but still you came up to us and uh, you spoke quite well uh, in a very balanced and uh, calm way. So very nice. Yeah, it was well started by Desmond, and later on the knowledge you have about the companies that you just specified in the slides are very good, impressive. Um, I particularly like the justification for the recommendations uh, that you that you made. Just to, you went beyond just saying the recommendations. You explained why you made that recommendation. Okay. Areas for improvement. Um, it would be good like to interact more with the in audience and then have eye contact. Yeah, and um, yeah, do more research on what you talked on your PPT so that you can answer the audience questions. Mm, I would say more interaction, I mean like eye contact and interaction with the audience. Uh, some of the content in your slides were not distributed properly among the m members. Uh, one or two members are uh, doing three or four slides. They are, they are covering the main topics of the slide. They are not distributed among the members of the team properly. So please keep that in mind. Keep that thing in your mind. Uh, so uh, in the recommendations, uh, you did a very good job. Uh, but then how could you uh, introduce things like life cycle assessment uh, analysis, sorry, and uh, mission zero? Uh, we could try to include that too. Uh, like if you want to introduce mission zero, what steps can the company take? You could recommend that too, that would be more beneficial. Otherwise, the recommendations are great. Um, great use of your iPhones to, to help you in, in as part of your presentation. I think one of the other teams did that. Be careful about putting too much information on your on your phones because that, then you have a, hab a habit of, of reading it. So brief notes, brief notes. I know you can stick 10 million copies of the encyclopedia on there and everything else. <laughs> um, so, um, very informative, good specifics, good examples of the specific practices that the various companies, targets and, and sources were. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I hinted at before, uh, compliments on the detailed knowledge that you glean through both your personal contacts and the and the internet um, on the on the target company, so that you could give really specific recommendations. Um, any other positive points people want to remark on? Uh, well, uh, they are doing a good job with accepting our comments, so that, uh, our feedback, which is really great. Even after having so much knowledge, and you still want to improve, that's a very good thing. So, yeah. Um, I just want to say to this team and, and every other team that has, has spoken both today and, and 
last week. I appreciate that most of you, English is your second or your third or other language. Um, and you all did a great job of, of presenting. Um, many of you relying minimally on, on your notes. Um, I take my hat off uh, to you. So very well done. Give everybody, give the team, give everybody a hand.